Let's talk about money on YouTube. So I think it's safe to say this is a pretty touchy subject. For some reason, maybe it's just me, a lot of people don't like people making money on YouTube and I don't really get why, but that's not the topic for today's video. As you're probably aware, um, PewDiePie put it himself in one of his videos, there is an adpocalypse that's happening currently. The adpocalypse continues. Quote, and it's ridiculous. It's actually getting a bit mad now. So I'm going to rewind the clock for you guys that don't know because all this ties into money on YouTube. Um, and I'm going to explain what's happened with the ads that have been pulled from YouTube, how it affects creators and even big organizations because... It has. Right, so let's talk about the ads being pulled. So on YouTube, you get your normal ads and then you get your premium ads. Your premium ads, ads are the ones that are gonna earn creators a lot more money and those are the ones that are put on higher channels. I'm not sure specifically about me, but I don't think there's premium ads on my channel and if there is, it's an automated system. I am not in the top brand of like advertisers when I'm recording this video. Essentially, the Wall Street Journal, those fucking evil cunts. Yeah, I'm calling you out, I'm calling you out. So essentially, Wall Street Journal actually twisted kind of the whole situation with YouTube and ads and made it seem like they were purposefully showing ads on racist videos. Well, obviously, if you're a YouTuber, you'll know that that's definitely not the case. All ads are automated. There's millions and millions and millions of videos uploaded to YouTube every week. So it's pretty much near on impossible to moderate what ads are going to be on what video. But YouTube, being, you know, YouTube and Google, think they can. So what they've gone ahead and done is um, kind of put in a system where uh, your video will go through an automated process to see if it's ad friendly. I think one of my videos were claimed. Um, I think one of my videos got claimed it was a Midnight Club video. I'm um, talking about if, if the series is dead or not. I think it was, it was, um, it, was, it got picked up because it had dead in the title. So obviously this automated system's fucked as well. And there's just a big problem with this, you know, the fact that creators weren't warned or told which videos that were actually claimed is an issue within itself. I did not get an email saying that they, that Midnight Club video was um, held up because it wasn't reaching, reaching community guidelines, which may I add, actually was, and I actually re appealed it, and now everything's fine again. But the point is, they didn't tell me. And I am not really largely affected by this. I've said it time and time again. I'm not doing YouTube full time at the moment. It's something I aspire to do, but at the moment, it's not happening. So if one video gets claimed, that's fine by me. I really don't care. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. But who it does affect is those channels that are on the brink of kind of living on YouTube. Those that are, you know, trying to do this full time, being supported by Patreon and other, you know, fan donated things. Um, and those who can't really support themselves. It's when it affects people who livelihoods, you know, depend on this. That's when it matters. And um, it's just it's just ridiculous. Corporate fucking dinosaurs is the best way to explain it. You know, people who don't understand how the world works in 2017, they're still operating like it was 10 years ago, uh, and they don't really understand the internet. And they've pulled the ads for no fucking reason. They're missing out on loads of money, and it makes no sense. I think it all comes to the, to, you know, back to the point of the world of being way too PC. You know, the world, at least for now, anyway, it's ridiculous. This relates to the Pepsi advert, which came out, uh, I think it was a few days ago. Essentially, if you haven't watched this Pepsi advert, um, Kendall Jenner's in it. She gives a Coke, or no, not Coke. She gives a Pepsi to uh, a guard in a, in a like, anti-movement, like, an anti, like, rally thing. Um, and basically, the whole premise of it is that if you give a Pepsi to a riot guard, everything's gonna be alright. Genius. Absolute genius. Now, it wasn't the it wasn't the actual, you know, message it was trying to send or which was bad. The ad was just shit. But for some reason, because of the world's anti-PC, everyone who has got a vagina, anyone who is gay, was like, this is wrong. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, please. This is another reason. I think PewDiePie said this as well. This is another reason why I will never go, you know, PC. I will never go politically correct. It's it's just bullshit. <laughs> Why do people get so offended? I don't understand. It pisses me off because it shouldn't be that way. And now the fact people on YouTube aren't getting paid 
the amount of money because people don't like their opinion? Like, is that really what's happening right now? You disagree with me, so I'm not getting the money which I've earned off YouTube? Like, that's a fucking joke. I try my best to just make funny, th funny stuff. That's like literally all I do. I don't have any goals or like rules along what I do. Obviously, one day I want to do this full time. Obviously, you know, earning money on YouTube is something I want to do full time. But like the bottom premise of it is I want to do something which is funny and hilarious and you know being PC is just it doesn't in 2017 oh no I like to think I'm not one of those edgy kids who just goes <laughs> like that's like yeah like that's just how I see it I everything I well, not everything but most things I do have context um, and that's very important and I think again like what the Wall Street Journal Journal have done, they are absolute cunts. If you don't know um, the history behind Wall Street Journal and what they're like, that they're like a vendetta against YouTube is essentially they're pretty much jealous of new media. They tried to attack PewDiePie and they kind of fucked up PewDiePie in a way last month. And because they are such a reputable brand, uh, everyone listens to them. You know, ad companies listen to them. And realistically, if the ads, if, if the ad companies listen to them then we've not really got much power in the situation because YouTube are kind of cuckolded by the ad companies. And it's very, very sad. Fuck the Wall Street Journal. Seriously, like, fuck those old dinosaurs. Dinosaurs is what they are. Um, they don't understand how the world works in 2017. And that's very sad. Like I said, we're in 2017 now, you know, like the world's changed. It's, oh, I feel like the world's too PC for its own good. And I'm not one of these people that was like, oh, I'm born in the wrong generation because those people can go fucking kill themselves. I'm, I live on the mindset of like, just grow up, like, just grow up. Like, we're all, we're, we're all like people here. We're all just trying to get along. The advert that was dropped from Pepsi wasn't offensive. It was just shit. The videos and ads, the companies that have pulled their ads from YouTube, are, you're just retarded. You don't make any sense. You know, you don't realize how, if how YouTube works then that's that's your problem if you don't realize that they're automated ads and you're listening to a skewed perspective how can big companies like pepsi and kia not realize that the wall street journal are evil they have a vendetta against new media and it's just sad i'm fully aware that it's the hardest it's ever been to be a youtuber full time i'm Fully, fully aware of that. Especially with the shit I do, where I pretty much like cuss in every single video. I am the exact opposite of PC. I'm not gonna say I'm on Filthy Frank level, but I'm also, you know, not like on the other side of things where I'm bleeping out everything because it's, you know, PC. That's just not me. I've always said to myself, don't censor yourself. But it's just wrong. I feel like censoring yourself is just wrong. If I've got something to say, you're gonna fucking know about it. Um, and this whole situation with money on YouTube is a fucking joke. I don't earn much from YouTube. I've made this clear beforehand. I, I want to do this full time. At the moment, I don't. Um, and obviously, that's something I aspire to do. But, you know, with all these problems that just keep escalating and escalating and escalating, I, I still want to do it. Like, don't get me wrong. It has issues, but it just makes it so much harder. A few years ago, you know, you could probably get away with a lot of things. Now, it's a lot different. The landscape's changed and... You know, to get to that place where I want to do this full time, it's going to take a bit longer. It's just sad, really. That's, that's the only thing about it, really. It's just a bit sad. It's a bit annoying. Um, and I do hope that this is solved in the future. I feel like it's only a matter of time until new media, you know, really takes over. And when new media really takes over, then we're going to have more power than ad companies will. And... Um, until that time, it's going to be years down the line, but until that time, I'll still be making videos, I will still be here, and I will still be saying cunt in every single one of my videos. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. You know, I, again, I am not here to be PC. I'm here to be entertaining, and I will never, ever, ever go PC. Don't censor yourself. That's the main message I want to send in this video. It's not racing related at all, it's not gaming related at all, it's not car related at all, but this it's YouTube related. And we're all on YouTube. And if you are on YouTube, this affects you. It affects the creators you watch, it affects, you know, everything. Everything of how, like, money makes this website go round. You know, whether you're too young to understand it or you just don't like the fact that money makes the world go around, that's, you know, down to you. But it's true. 
if it wasn't for money, YouTube wouldn't be in the situation where it is now. If it wasn't for Google, YouTube would not be in the situation it is now. If it wasn't for money, a lot of YouTubers you watch would not be doing this full time. It's a touchy subject, I know, um, and a lot of people get jealous about that fact that people do this for money or like, you know, it's full time, you know, they are paying for their food using their YouTube check. That's like people are literally putting dinners on plates because you watch their videos. And I think people forget that sometimes people forget how important, you know, money on YouTube is to some people, you know, it's not, oh, I want money to sell out this, that and the other. It's money to feed themselves. It's money to make sure that food goes on their plate every single day. That's, that's the point that this is at now. And I think people forget that. I really, really do. I think people forget that, and I think people forget that it's more than just a video sharing site at this point. It's people's livelihoods. Not mine, you know, it's um, people like me. Um, again, I don't do this full time. It's something I want to do, um, so it doesn't really affect me. It doesn't really affect people like PewDiePie because I'm sure they're, they've got a, a lot of money in their account. It's not for me to say, but it, it affects those people in the middle who are trying to do this and they can't. So. You know, don't feel pity on me. I'm, I'm fine. I, I don't do this. I'm at uni at the moment. That's, that's it. But, you know, just, just, just think about it. It's, it's something which I want to start a discussion more so than just kind of rant on about. So what do you think about the whole situation? I'm pretty sure all of you guys will say it's bullshit and that's completely fair enough. What did you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section down below. You guys have been awesome. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and peace.